Welcome to Easy Elim uh, Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be talking about simple classification of substances and we are going to be separating mixtures. In the previous lesson we discussed about the introduction bit of sim uh, mixtures. We defined what mixtures are and then we classified Mixtures are homogeneous and heterogeneous, and we further classify the mixtures uh, into different categories. The solid, 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 liquid, 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 gas, uh, then gas, gas. And we today now we are going to deeply go into those mixtures one by one. And then we are also going to discuss how do we separate these mixtures one by one. What are the processes available for separation? So let's start. So we said when we were defining uh, mixtures that you can, it can be separated by uh, physical means. And it is strictly physical mix. It just depends on the type of mixture. So we are going to see these mixtures in details. Some of the examples of separating these mixtures are decantation. Decantation is a physical method. We have evaporation where we heat the solution. And then also we have condensation. Condensation also involves like cooling of certain solutions. And then filtration in the cases where we involve a solid and a liquid, which is where the solid is in, in mist, it does not mix in the liquid. And then crystallization, which goes hand in hand with evaporation. And we have use of a separating panel. So this one also use, uh, we separate liquid liquid mixtures, but are immiscible in nature. We have distillation, both simple and fractional. This involves separation of liquid, liquid mixtures that are, are miscible. We will come into details later. And then we have sublimation, which involves separating a component that sublimes as well. And then we have chromatography as well. Chromatography will be the separation of colors. And finally, we have solvent test extraction which uh, we are going to separate different components and we are going really to especially look at how to separate oil from uh, nuts and seeds. So those are some of the methods that we are going to be discussing in this topic. And further we can see how these uh, mixtures are separated depending on the specific uh, type they belong to. We said there are two types of mixtures in the previous lesson. We have heterogeneous and homogeneous. For heterogeneous, it forms uh, uh, different uh, layers or different composition. For homogeneous, it forms one layer, uniform composition. So for heterogeneous, we have specifics like solid, solid mixtures. So solid solid mixtures which can be um, having different properties and some of the examples of uh, methods that we can use for solid solid mixtures are sublimation and the use of, of a magnet or magnetism. And then another example of an heterogeneous mixture is a liquid solid liquid mixture where the solid does not dissolve in the liquid and we use filtration and then we have another heterogeneous mixture that involves two immiscible liquids. If we use two immiscible liquids, the method of separating will be use of a separating funnel or decantation. And then we are going to specifically look at which one is um, like the most suitable one. And then when we go to the homogeneous, the one that forms the uniform uh, composition or uniform layer, we have solid liquid mixture where the solid dissolves in the liquid and we can use uh, evaporation or crystallization. So those are the methods that we use for that. And then if you have liquid liquid mixtures where the both liquids can mix together we use fractional distillation and finally uh, if you have a solid that mixes uh, in a liquid especially in dyes when we talk about colors the process that you are going to be using is going to be called chromatography so you see in the mixtures 
method of separating those mixtures will entirely depend if it is heterogeneous or if it is homogeneous in nature. So we will start with heterogeneous uh, mixtures and we will start with solid, solid mixtures where you, they do not form a uniform layer. So as we previously we said, the method we are going to use for this separation is called use of a magnet or magnetism. So when it comes to use of a magnet, it is usually used to separate mixtures that have one of the mixtures will have some magnetic properties in them. For example, if you are separating iron filings and sulfur, you notice the iron filings are the ones that have a magnetic uh, property in them. So this uh, method is possible uh, in, in that, that the ions are going to attract themselves to the magnet. So if you look at a detail of the experiment, you're going to put the iron fillings and the sulfur in a piece of paper. We, we spread it out, we mix it carefully, and then we hold a magnet above. It needs to be above the mixture. So what happens is if you hold it above, the ion in the mixture attracts itself to the magnet because it's magnetic. It is magnetic in nature. So that's why you will be able to get some magnets on the, some iron filings uh, uh, around the magnet and then you'll be left with the yellow sulfur. Sulfur is usually yellow in color. So this process is very common, especially in industries when they are trying to remove impurities from compounds, uh, especially in food industries as well. Floor mills, uh, they usually have some magnetic machines that attract any component that is magnetic. So it is also used in iron recycling and also glass recycling and commonly used in flour mills to remove those magnetic uh, particles uh, in, the, in the flour. So let's look at one question uh, in regards to what we have been discussing. State and explain a simple method that can use you can use to separate a mixture of sulfur and iron filings. So this question requires you to state the method and also to explain the method. So it is important for you to uh, be able to explain the method that is done in the lab. So the method is going to be uh, uh, it's going to be use of a magnet or magnetism and then the process will be the mixture of iron and sulfur we will place the um, magnet on top of this mixture and iron which is magnetic in nature is going to attract itself on the magnet so the sulfur or particles or sulfur powder is left on, a, on the piece of paper. So that is what you are, we have discussed. Method, use of a magnet. You place both iron and sulfur in a piece of paper. You place the magnet on top of the mixture. The iron fillings will be attracted to the magnet and then this will leave the sulfur powder on the piece of paper. So this is a simple method to separate uh, compounds that are magnetic from compounds that are not magnetic and the ones that are magnetic mostly actually metallic and uh, not all metals and in this case is iron phalanx so that's it for the uh, the first separation technique so later on we are going to look at the second technique which is sublimation we are going to follow our table for the heterogeneous mixture just like as it is so the next we are going to discuss how to separate um, uh, solid solid mixtures where one of the solid mixture is um, sublimes. So see you in the next session.